Well, hello, friends and family from around the world. This is Mike with Morning Dew, daily events worldwide. And we are on June 28th, 2020. Welcome to another surviving day on this planet. Welcome to a long and awaited daily do. Been fairly busy recently, but we're going to start out here looking at our very quiet sun for June 28th. We do have a little bit of activity here on the backside that is coming in now. But other than that, the coronal holes have disappeared. There are no sunspots to talk about, earth facing. We're looking at a very quiet solar cycle 25. Looking here, last images, able to see our heliosphere. Definitely something incoming. Have not been able to look at stereo A today. Looking here at our real time solar wind, as we did have an increase up to about 423 kilometers per second in the last three days, but we are still steady at about 312 kilometers per second right now. Looking here at the annual spiral for a space prediction, for prediction for space weather. And because of our very quiet sun, we have no, absolutely no space weather heading our way. So geomagnetic conditions are still very low. Looking here at the Schumann residence for today, we had quite a boost and look at that. A power of 82 and a quality power of 9.1 and a 7.8 Hertz. Looking here at our earthquakes for the last 24 hours and believe it or not, this is the last 24 hours for the map and there are earthquakes all over the place right now where we are looking at major crustal displacement across the planet. Just recently, we had a large 5.5 earthquake in Turkey. And before that, there was a 4.4. Iran with a 4.3. Afghanistan with a 4.0. 4.5 there in India. 4.6 Japan. 4.7 Indonesia. 4.7 Papua New Guinea. And as well, a 4.4, very deep. 596 kilometer depth, and that's just recent. So expect a larger and shallower earthquake, and it may have been the Turkey already, 5.5. Looking across South America, very busy there as well, 128 kilometer depth in Chile, 4.5. Moving up into Peru with a 4.7. And across Central America, definitely seeing an increase here, 4.8. Yeah, Nicaragua, 4.3, and as well many other minor earthquakes, Puerto Rico, 4.8 here in the Mid-Atlantic Ridge. Overlooking North America, somewhat quiet, but an interesting earthquake swarm is now happening in Mexico instead of Idaho and uh, further south in California. It's very interesting that it has shifted. Stay aware and prepared. Something underneath maybe just the bubbling and waiting to open up. That's the last seven days for earthquakes in the region. I'm just going to have a look at the last seven days for earthquakes around the world. Very busy. Very busy. Deep earthquakes all across the planet. Minor threes and fours and fives. We've had large earthquakes. We've had deep earthquakes. Deep earthquakes in Antipode. So yes, major crustal displacement across our planet right now. So stay aware and prepared and just be ready for anything. Especially in these regions. Let's get to the Pacific Disaster Center here. Looking at the most recent volcanoes being updated. Nishinashima in Japan. Uh, Dakono in Indonesia. Reventador in Ecuador, Sabancaya in Peru, Popopocatical in Mexico, Sangay in Ecuador, Shevlech in Russia, Epico in Russia, Fuego in Guatemala, and as well Simru in Indonesia. So that's all in the last 48 hours being updated. That's about 11 volcanoes, but pretty sizable. About half a dozen of those are large ones. Also looking here, Pacific Disaster Center, they're reporting many, many fires across Russia. 
and I'm going to show you just how many fires there are. Look at NASA Worldview. This is what it looks like from satellite. Massive fires and heat signatures all across this Worldview map right now in Russia. And the smoke stretches right across the country. A deep, lower level, low pressure system is embedded within all of this. Very interesting indeed. Thoughts and prayers. Hopefully that does not get too serious in Russia. And only one tropical storm to talk about. Tropical storm, Boris. And Boris has been alive now for about four days and will continue to move westward along the equator. Doesn't look like it's going to shift south or north. Also looking at some major thunderstorms and extreme weather across northern Pakistan and India. Expect some more extreme weather over the next couple of days as things are really heating up there. And as well across North America, extreme weather now moving into parts of Central Prairies, Manitoba, as well looking at tornado warnings today in Manitoba and Saskatchewan. So stay aware and prepared, my friends and family. Let's get to the five-day forecast brought to you by Meteor Earth, Meteor Mike, starting out here, home base, Calgary, Alberta. As we've had already about two to three days of rain, and we are going to be receiving a lot more. We have a low-pressure system, uh, Colorado Low, that is moving northward. And believe it or not, this thing is, is massive. And I've never seen a low-pressure system travel like this but in the five-day forecast it's just going to be spinning and moving right up Alberta and the, the foothills of the Rocky Mountains across eastern Canada and the United States watch for extreme weather central United States as low pressure center develops there as well and the heat is on temperatures reaching 33 34 parts of Arizona right now uh, Eastern Canada as well as Atlantic provinces looking at a, a lot of rain in the next five day forecast and as well things heating up across the eastern side of the country it's just very interesting and wacky weather going on right now and this low pressure system that's going to be moving up through Alberta is not normal that's all I can say overlooking the Pacific Ocean strong high pressure ridge is going to keep things dry along the BC coastline is going to scoot a pretty sizable low pressure system into the Alaskan Peninsula. Instead, watch for increase in seismicity throughout Alaska. It's a very deep lower level low. Watch for atmospheric compression event. Also looking at a lot of rain and moisture heading off of China that will be affecting South Korea, North Korea, and as well the islands of Japan over the coming days. Long atmospheric river of moisture here. As well, monsoon season has kicked off across Indonesia, parts of Micronesia, across the Australian continent, not much to talk about. Very dry, a little bit of moisture northeastern towards the Switzerland Reef. And later in the forecast, some really cool temperatures and a little bit of rain moving into southeastern parts, but still across the continent, very dry. Overlooking Africa, pretty cool temperatures moving in here as well. High pressure ridge locked in place there. We'll keep the cool temperatures hanging around for a little bit and another high pressure ridge moving in. Other than that, not much to talk about except daily evaporation rains. Heavier towards Nigeria, looks like. Overlooking Europe, you already have a low pressure system affecting you guys right now bringing a lot of thunderstorms, scattered showers. But you have another large low pressure system heading into the UK in the five day forecast. So here comes your uh, spring showers, bring May flowers. I don't know, spring showers, bring July flowers, whatever it is, strange indeed. Heavy rains throughout Panama and as well central, central Mexico. Not much to talk about through South America except for some pretty intense storms here through southern Argentina and the eastern 
southern Brazil. And as well, heavy snow through the Argentina mountains. But this storm should be quite an event as well. Stay aware and prepared, my South Brazilian friends and family. I want to thank you all for watching today. I'm going to leave you here looking at the Southern Hemisphere versus the Northern on a very wacky and wild planet that is ever so changing. Thanks again for watching. Stay aware and prepared. Stay young and have fun. And get your morning due. Bye-bye now. And don't forget to check out dailyeventsworldwide.com where you can get all the latest news and events and share your photos and videos.